Chris, what is our fourth main topic today? Our fourth topic comes from Maxi S. Hi, John and crew. You've already talked about the glowing reviews coming out of TIFF of Spielberg's The Fablemans. The festival has concluded and it won TIFF's top honor, the People's Choice Award. I think that puts The Fablemans ahead of the list of p potential Best Picture Oscar winners, including your fave of the year so far, Everything Everywhere All at Once. And I don't see any film that hasn't yet been shown having the potential to knock it off the top spot, with the exception exception of Chiselle's Babylon. Avatar 2, maybe? Is the best picture race over already? Thanks and bring on the filthy. All right, Maxie, thanks a lot for saying that in. And of course, uh, maybe potentially the most important film festival of the year, the Toronto International Film Festival, has now come to a close, and they have handed out their major awards, which is their People's Choice Awards, which at this festival, that's their major one. And two big films won two big awards that I'm actually very excited about. Anyway, this comes from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. TIFF, just for you guys to know, that's the Toronto International Film Festival. TIFF's People's Choice Award is one of the most reliable predictors of eventual Oscar success. In past years, winners such as Green Book and Nomadland went on to capture the best prize at the Academy Awards. Other recent recipients, including three billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri, La La Land, and Jojo Rabbit, were Best Picture nominees and major forces during the award season. At this year's festival, the first runner-up for the Audience Award was Sarah Polly's drama Talk, Women Talking, while the second runner-up was Ryan Johnson's whodunit Glass Onion and Knives Out Mystery, which I am so freaking excited about. The Audience Prize for the festival's Midnight Madness series went to, oh my God, Weird, the Al Yankovic story, and the Documentary Award went to Black Ice. So, Steven Spielberg's Meet the Fablemans. We talked the other week about the fact that the reviews were coming out for the film and like all the major trades were not just saying this thing's great. They're saying they were throwing around the words masterpiece, perhaps Spielberg's best, which is a ridiculous thought to even think about. Um, but all the, it was just glowing, glowing, glowing. Everybody loved this film, masterpiece, best film of the year, blah, blah, blah. Well, it actually takes home the People's Choice Award at the Toronto International Film Festival, which again can be a big precursor into the Oscars. So clearly this is going to be a potential favorite going into the Oscar season. So there's that. Super thrilled for the other major People's Choice Award, which is their Midnight Madness one. It beat out, what's the X uh, follow-up film? What's it? Pearl. 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 So it beat out films like Pearl and a few other, but weird, the Al Yankovic story. <laughs> Which, of course, I got to fulfill a lifelong dream of mine last week. I got to meet Weird Al, which was fantastic. Um, uh, wins that, which is crazy. Because when they, listen, when they first announced that movie and Daniel Cratcliffe, like even I'm like, I'm a huge, huge Weird Al fan. I'm like, what? What are they doing with this? And it was gonna, it's a direct to Roku? A Roku thing? And then all of a sudden the reviews started coming out. They were smashing and now it wins the People's Choice for the Midnight Madness Award out there. And of course, Black Ice won Best Documentary. Anyway, Rob, we talked last week about the insane response that we were hearing coming from Meet the Fablemans. Turns out it wasn't just the critics. The audiences that went to go see this at uh, the Toronto Film Festival, they voted it Best of the, of the Festival. What does that tell you about the film? How do you think it's going to be positioned heading into Oscar season? Well, obviously, you know, you can tell from the trailer, it's Steven Spielberg, one of the greatest directors who ever lived. And he's doing a, probably the most personal story he's ever told, which is about his own life, his own parents, his own family. And uh, he co-wrote the script. I mean, I know he has a credit on AI and Close Encounters, but I mean, this is something that is near and dear to his heart. And I can only imagine how much of his own personal self is is on the screen in this movie. That in itself and the fact that it won this award tells me that this is a very special movie. So obviously it clearly goes straight to the top. The only thing that I could see working against it in terms of Oscar contention is that maybe some people are saying, oh great, he's made a movie about himself. Should we award it that way? But again, <laughs> that really shouldn't factor into it because making a movie about yourself is not as easy as people might think. Believe me, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, you hear about this? What do you think? Oh, I'm so happy about it. I love this. I, I I love when a coming of age story gets all these kinds of accolades too. Because, and I've said it before on here, a lot of times award seasons, things go to the most difficult things to watch. And there's obviously merit to that, right? There are tough stories that need to be told. But it's really nice when a heartwarming tale about your own family, about your own experience, really connects with other audiences. And this is just a big old love letter to his parents. So I'm really, really excited to see it. 
Um, any thoughts on Weird Al's movie winning? Oh, hell the- yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Al. Yes. It makes me I'm so actually, happy. I'm actually going to the L.A. premiere uh, of it. Because you're best I, friends now? Because uh, we're besties. I yes. mean, we're BFFs now. I so, can't wait for you guys to get to You're going to Beyond Fest. Uh, is that what it's part of? That, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's be a part of Beyond Fest. I, I'm, that's the only thing I'm going to is I'm going to go to the premiere, the LA premiere of uh, of Weird Al's movie. So I'm very, very excited about that. But yeah, Meet the Fablemans looks incredible. How will it compare? Listen, it's very difficult because in as much as we're talking about this movie, the reality is we haven't seen it yet. Exactly. So, I mean, I can't say how legit I think its chances are for the Oscars right now when compared against like, obviously, Babylon looks like it's going to be a major force. Everything... Everywhere all wants to me right now is the best film of the year. So how's it going to compare? Hard to say when you haven't seen it yet, but it certainly looks good for it. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? It's not just the critics, but now the audience is saying this is probably the best film of the year with Steven Spielberg's Meet the Fablemans. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Me Undies. Now, guys, we've all heard of gut instinct, but have you ever heard of butt instinct? It's when your butt tells you it wants new undies. Listen to your butt. Luckily for you, we work with Me Undies, makers of the most buttery, soft, and sustainable undies, bralettes, and socks that exist. Guys, for too long, I lived my life wearing those Amazon or Walmart 20 pack cheap underwear that I thought were just fine until I tried Me Undies undies. Now it's like my nether regions are in a Palm Springs resort. So guys, let your skin sing a song of joy with undies, socks, and bralettes that feel as if they're spun from silken clouds. Guaranteed to be the softest stuff you've ever felt in your life, their signature micromodal fabric is sustainable, breathable and stretchy as heck available in sizes extra small to 4xl they have new colors and prints dropping weekly so there's always something exciting to check out try out their free to join membership for free shipping on every order and exclusive perks like an item shipped to your door every month secret sales and early access to their newest stuff me undies has a great offer for all john campy show viewers and listeners for any first time purchaser you get 20 percent off plus free shipping and returns to get 20 percent off your first order free shipping and a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee go to meundies.com slash campia that's meundies.com slash campia